until Jay says, Amen, somebody. Yeah. He said, I hold it in my heart. And he said, It is I who walk it amongst them. And he said, Within my hand, I hold the keys of hell and death. Amen, somebody. Yeah. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Praise him. Let's turn to the book. I want to continue where we left off in prayer. We are dealing with prayer. I've been dealing in, in the, the power of prayer in San Grand. Amen, somebody. And uh, God is moving mightily in that branch that we open. Amen, somebody. Amen. Last night they rented 80 chairs with the, with the 40 chairs that they had and only two rows they did not put down. Give God some praise. Amen. But it's, it's not about the, the filling out of the seats. Amen, somebody. But the prayer meeting they are keeping, they are taking heed to the world. Amen. And the Lord told me to begin that prayer, somebody. Our foundation in the word of God, amen, somebody, is based on the gospel of Jesus, his death, his burial, and his resurrection. So our faith is in that, that world. The apostle Paul said in the book of Romans chapter 1 and verse 16, and I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to them that believe it. How many people we have believe in the gospel here tonight? Somebody that so how many people we have here tonight believe in the gospel of Jesus? Yeah. Amen, somebody. Yeah. Amen, somebody. So I'm going to ask the next question. How many of God's people we have here tonight practicing the gospel of Jesus? Yeah. See, get quiet now. Yeah. To believe is to practice the gospel. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. He said, I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus. It brings power to those. Believe. Amen. 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 And so we begin to establish the, the same foundation that Jesus established with his disciples. Amen, Amen somebody. Amen. The same foundation that he gave Moses to establish way back in the book of Exodus. Amen, somebody. Amen. 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 So let's go to the book of Exodus chapter 13. And let's read. Amen. We are continuing there. Amen. Hallelujah. I don't come and don't take a mic, amen. So we're just going to read through these scriptures quickly, amen. Hallelujah. Most of you should have an understanding. Those of you who have been there in San Grande, and since they have that prayer group going, amen, there's about 25 to them, amen. Hallelujah. Last night about 17 came out, amen. But God is moving amongst them. Healing is happening amongst them. Deliverance is happening amongst them. The Holy Ghost is moving. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. Amen. Hallelujah. So God is moving mightily because they are getting the foundation right. Yeah. Amen, somebody. Yeah. Amen, somebody. Yeah. Third and Amen said, Prayer is your most formidable weapon. Yeah. Why is it your most formidable weapon? Because prayer is the language of heaven. Prayer uses the spirit and the word of God. That everybody that goes to church or is religious know how to pray. Yeah. You see, when Jesus went out to pray, the Bible said he was transfigured. Amen, amen, amen. amen somebody amen. and Peter and John was with him amen, amen somebody amen. amen somebody and they saw Moses and Elisha amen somebody hallelujah and uh, Peter and John went on their knees and said let us build a, a, an altar for them let us build a tabernacle for them and the Lord spoke and they got afraid and they said no this is my son hear he him do not hear Moses do not hear Elisha hear what the son of God has to say amen, amen. amen somebody amen. we read again Peter and John in the book of Acts the Bible that was about the ninth hour and they went at the gate called Peter for the went in the temple to pray what did they went to do to pray then the neighbor said they went to pray they went to pray they went to pray amen somebody and when they after they came out of prayer they saw a man begging who was lame from birth and he was asking for money and they told them they said silver and gold have I none but some of I have give I unto thee in the name of Jesus Christ I see unto thee Arise, stick up thy bed and walk in and somebody. Somebody shall there is power in prayer. Amen. You need to lay out a proper foundation in your prayer life. Amen. You 
you see that Peter was thrown into prison. Amen. 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 So in the book of Acts, Peter was thrown into prison. Amen. And at that time, all the, the believers and the elders of the church were being martyred and crucified. They have already killed some of the disciples already. They have already beheaded James. Amen, somebody. They already had a joint in custody. Amen, somebody. Hallelujah. And the church was afraid for Peter. Amen, somebody. And the Bible said the church stayed up all night and began to pray and intercede on Peter's behalf. Amen, somebody. What happened? The heavens opened up. God sent an angel. Amen. When Peter was asleep, glory to Jesus. And Peter saw a light and he saw the angel walk through the path. But the church, it, read, it was recorded that the church prayed how? They prayed all night. They prayed all night. That's why the Bible said, Is any afflicted, let them what? Let them pray. Amen, somebody. Amen, amen, somebody. If we are afflicted, we've got to learn to pray. Our first option must not be to get violent and angry, want to cuss and fight and beat up one another. Amen, somebody. We've got to learn how to pray. The Bible said, They that know their God, they're going to be strong. They're going to do great exploits. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. Amen. And prayer loves you. To know God, amen. Somebody told your neighbor, say, Prayer allows you to know God, it allows you to come into a relationship with God. Amen. Glory. Amen. And then the angel loose Peter from his shackles, amen. Somebody, amen. Somebody, he put the guard to sleep, he opened the prison doors, and Peter came out. Amen. And Peter went away, they were praying, and knocked on the door, and they were afraid. Amen. I said they were afraid until Peter said his eye and he began to tell them what God did for them. And then the church said we were praying all night. Amen. When you begin to pray, there is power when you begin to pray. Don't they never say there is power within you when you begin to pray. When you begin to seek God. Sometimes we get too busy to pray. We get too busy with husband and wife and children and job. Amen, somebody. When I
Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. Am I speaking to somebody tonight? Amen, Amen somebody. Amen. We saw Hezekiah Amen. in the book of Isaiah, chapter 38. We see Hezekiah the Bible is sick unto death. Amen. The prophet that was supposed to be bringing the good news. Yeah. He was the one bringing the bad news. Amen. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. Prophet Isaiah came to Hezekiah, king of Judea, a righteous man before God. He said, set your house in order. He said, for you shall die and not live. And the part of Hezekiah set himself to seek the face of God. And he said, remember me. Remember me. I don't know about you. Amen, somebody. But when I am in battles of tribulation, of persecution, I begin to seek the face of God and say, Lord, remember me, your servant. Lord, look down at me. Hear my prayer. Hear my cry. I cannot do it, but you can. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. And what's Hezekiah's bonus? Hezekiah wanted a sign. And God stopped the prophet Isaiah and sent him back. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. He sent him back. Amen, somebody. And he told him, he said, listen, the, the Lord sent me back and tell you because of your faithfulness uh, and because you have walked up right before me, because of your obedience, uh, you will live uh, 15 more years. Uh, and Hezekiah said, that's not enough. I, I, want, I want God uh, to give me a sign that, that show me his power. Amen, somebody. Glory to Jesus. And the Bible said that God commanded the son to go back. Amen. Three degrees. Yeah. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen, Amen somebody. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. In those days, is to walk with something called a sundial. That will give you the time of day. Amen. And it's the walk with the shadow of the sun. Amen. A very tall building. So Hezekiah came out to see the miracle. Amen, somebody. Amen. So when the sun was about to set, Amen, somebody. Amen. God carried back the sun died. Amen, somebody. Amen. That the shadow of the sun that was about to set went back by three hours. Amen. Today we see the power of prayer. Power. The power of prayer. Power. The power of prayer all through scripture. We saw when Joshua. Amen. Somebody when God promised Joshua. Look at him and say, God promised Joshua. Some people think because God promised them something, they're just gonna sit in their seat, sit at their home, sit in the counter, sit in front of their TV, and God is gonna do it. Because God promised something to you, it's just gonna happen and fall on your lap. Amen. 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 Amen, somebody. Amen. God, who told Joshua that the battle will end today? God told him. But when it was evening, and was, amen, somebody, and the sun began to set, amen, somebody, and the moon started to come out over the valley of Avalon, amen, somebody. Amen. amen. Joshua looked and he saw the battle was not over, and he said, God, you promised today, the word said today. But this battle will end and he began to pray. Amen. Amen. What did God do? He commanded the sun to stand still Amen. for the battle to be over. Amen. When we get the foundation right with God. Amen, somebody. Amen, Amen somebody. Amen. God has ordained a foundation. Let's go and see the foundation that God has ordained. We begin to read Banana. Exodus chapter 30. Yes, go ahead. And thou shalt make an altar to burn incense upon. Of shittim wood shalt thou make it. A cubit shall be the length thereof, and a cubit the breadth thereof. Four square shall it be. And two cubits shall be the height thereof. The horns thereof shall be of the same. And thou shalt overlay it with pure gold. And the top thereof, and the sides thereof. Round about, and the horns thereof. And thou shalt make unto it a crown of gold round about. And two gold rings shalt thou make it 
under the crown of it. By the two corners thereof, upon the two sides of it shall thou make it. And they shall be for places for the stars to bear it withal. And thou shalt make the stars of Shittim wood, and overlay them with gold. And thou shalt put it before the veil, that is by the ark of the testimony, before the mercy seat, that is over the testimony, where I will meet with thee. And Aaron shall burn thereon sweet incense every morning. When he dresseth the lamps, he shall burn incense upon it. And when Aaron lighted the lamps of Eden, he shall burn incense upon it. Alright, so hold it here. Amen, somebody. Amen. So the Bible is speaking at this altar that God told Moses to build is where he will do what? Meet with his people. Yeah, yeah. And the Bible called it an altar of prayer. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. Tell the neighbors that the Bible called it an altar of prayer. Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen, somebody. I'm going to read Revelation 5, and I want you to get in the book of Hebrews to me. Amen, somebody. Chapter 8 and verses 1 to 5 in the meantime. And then put your head in the book of Hebrews again, chapter 10. Amen, somebody. We're just going to run through this quickly. Amen, somebody. So we, uh, let's read together in the book of Revelation, chapter 5. We're going to tie all these things together. Amen, somebody. Very quickly. Amen. And the Bible said, And I saw in the right hand of him that sat on the throne a book written within, and on the backside seal with seven seas. And I saw a strong angel proclaiming with a loud voice, who was worthy to open the book and to loose the seas thereof. And no man in heaven, nor on the earth, neither under the earth, hallelujah, glory to Jesus, was able to open the book, neither to look thereon. And my well much of that because no man was found worthy to open and to read the book as the book of life. Amen, somebody. Neither to look thereon. And one of the elders say unto me, Weep not. Behold, and the neighbor said, Weep not. Weep not. Weep not. Amen, somebody. Behold, the land of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, have prevailed to open the book and to loose the seven seals. And I beheld that law in the midst of the throne and of the four pieces and in the midst of the elders stood a lamb as it was been slain, amen somebody, having seven horns and seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of God sent forth into all the earth and he came and took the book out of the right hand of him that sat on the throne, him that sat on the throne is God, the strong angel came and took it out of the right hand to give to the one that is worthy, amen, somebody. And when he had taken the book, the four beasts and the four and twenty elders fell down with me, twenty-four elders fell down before the lamb which was found worthy, having every one of them harps of golden vials full of those which are the prayers of the saints. Amen, amen somebody. Amen. And I want us to read verses 8 again. And when he had taken the book, the four pieces and the twenty-four elders fell down before the Lamb, having every one of them harps and golden vials. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. Full of those. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. Which are the prayers of the saints. And you, amen, somebody. Which is representing the altar of the old tabernacle. Amen, somebody. That God told Moses to build. Which was a type and a shadow of things to come. Let's go in the book of Hebrews now. Yes, chapter 8. Hebrews chapter 8. Now of the things which we have spoken, this is the son. We have such an high priest who is set on the right hand of the throne of the majesty in the heavens, a minister of the sanctuary and of the true tabernacle which the Lord pitched and not man. So of the true tabernacle which the Lord pitched and not man. So he's separating the old tabernacle from the new one. Amen, somebody. Amen. And the old tabernacle is what God told Moses to build. Which we have been reading in the book of Exodus chapter 30. Amen, somebody. And then the old tabernacle had the outer court, had the inner court, and had the holies of holies. In the outer court, 
is where the sacrifices would have been made of our lambs and turtle doves for the sins of the people. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. Let me never say the outer court is where the sacrifices of the lambs would have been made for, for the sin of our household, of our family, of our children, for the sin of Israel. Amen, somebody. Whom Jesus has now become that lamb without spot and without wrinkle. Amen, somebody. Taking away our sins. Amen. Amen, somebody. And I want to note some of us is still at the outer court. Amen. Amen. What do I mean by that? Some of us is still at the outer court, still sacrificing because we're not obedient. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. We are still sacrificing. We are still in the outer court asking God to forgive me. May the blood of Jesus Christ forgive me of all of my sins. And we are doing the same sins over and over and over. Committing the same things over and over and over. Living the same life over and over. We are still in the outer court. Amen, somebody. At the outer court, there is no power. Amen, amen. There is no power in the outer court. Amen. Ain't that somebody? Yeah. Ain't that somebody? Yeah. There is only forgiveness of sins, remission of sins. Ain't that somebody? Yeah. Ain't that somebody? Yeah. The power comes when you begin to enter into the inner court. When you begin to enter into the holies of holies. When His Word abides in you and you abide in Him. When you are born again of the Spirit and of the Word of God. Ain't that somebody? And we see in the inner court is where the altar of prayer is. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen, Amen somebody. Amen. 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 Our prayer becomes powerful and effective to deliver, to heal, to save, to destroy the works of the devil. Only when we enter into the inner court. Amen. But many of God's people are still in the outer court. Amen. In the, in the spiritual realm. Amen, somebody. We are still in the outer court. Remember what we read, what we just read that God pitched his own tabernacle. Amen. Amen. Amen, somebody. And this tabernacle is not pitched by men. Amen. The tabernacle that was pitched by men is the Old Testament tabernacle that Moses built. That was a type and shadow of things to come. In the New Testament, you see Paul begin to write. He said, Know you not that you are the temples of the Holy Ghost. And he said, What concordance had light with darkness? What agreement had Billy and with Christ? Amen. What agreement had the children of God with idols? that we ought to present our bodies a living sacrifice because our body is not the tabernacle of the Holy Ghost. This is the tabernacle that God has preached. Amen. The, the first tabernacle. The example is the Son of God. Amen. Amen somebody. Amen, Amen somebody. Amen. And we're going to see now in order, in order for us to enter into the inner court where the Ark of the Covenant is. As we just read in the book of Exodus. Amen somebody. God told them to begin to build. Amen somebody. Amen. The altar of prayer. Where the golden vial is. Amen somebody. Where Aaron will burn incense. And the incense represents what? The prayers of the people. And as we just read in the book of Revelation. Amen somebody. And the 24 elders have in their hands water. What do they have in their hands? The golden vials. Which had water. Which had what the prayers of the saints. Amen, somebody. So if the, the, the people of God is not praying and not seeking God, there is nothing to be released from heaven to you. Amen, 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 amen. Oh my God. The Bible says he prevailed. Amen. Amen, somebody. The mighty land of the tribe of Judah, the land that had been slain before the foundation of the world, but he prevailed for us. Amen. But even though he had prevailed for us, if we are doing what we ought to do, there's no work for them to do. Amen. Amen. So when we pray, it is like an incense, and it is going to heaven. And it is going to that golden 
fire. Amen. But God might loose the seas, these seas, amen somebody, amen somebody, our unanswered prayers, amen somebody, things that your fathers have been praying for, your mothers have been praying for, you have been praying for, your children have been praying for, these are unanswered prayers, amen somebody, that Jesus wants to, amen, send from heaven an answer and deliver in your life. Amen. Where is Jesus right now? The Bible said he's at the right hand of the Father, making him the center for us. Amen. What is he doing? He is talking to the Father on our behalf. Amen. And if you are not talking to him, there's nothing for him to do for you. Amen. A prayer saint is an empty saint. Amen. He's a saint without power and authority. Amen, somebody. Amen. How many of us really pray in our homes? How many of us call our family to pray together? How many of us maintain a prayer life daily? Maintain a relationship with God daily? This is our foundation upon the gospel of Jesus. How did the Pentecost came upon the disciples? The Bible said they went up in the upper room and they were what? Fasting and praying. And when they came out, in one accord. The Pentecost came. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. So you see where the altar of prayer is. The Ark of the Covenant is. What is, what is the Ark of the Covenant represent? God's glory, God's anointing, and God's power. Amen. I want you to understand something. I want you to listen very carefully. Amen, somebody. Every any time that the Ark of the Covenant left Israel, is when Israel began to sin against God and when they were disobedient to God. Amen. You know, it was given to the hands of the priests, of the, the Levites, to, to take care of the Ark of the Covenant. Amen. And it was given to them, no one else can touch the Ark of the Covenant. And behind the Ark of the Covenant had the veil. And that veil represented a separation, a wall that separated man from God. That's why when Jesus died, amen, in the flesh, and he said, Father, it is finished. The Bible of the Holy Ghost came down from heaven and went in the temple and tear the veil in half. It meant that the separation between God and man was abolished. Amen. That man had no access. They entered in the holies of holies. Amen. In the Old Testament, a priest was prepared once a year to enter into the holies of holies. Amen. Amen. Amen somebody. Amen. And when he entered again, the sacrifice of his life, the way that he lived, even was unrighteous. When he entered in that place, the son of the sacrifice to the children of Israel, even if not accepted, they would have pulled him up on their own dead. Amen. If the sacrifice was accepted, the bells of Israel would begin to ring and they would begin to rejoice and they would have a festival. Amen, somebody. Because if their sacrifice has been accepted, because the blessing of God would have been with them and upon their children to prosper and the kingdom in hell. Amen. But look at this. The moment they begin to sin and rebel the Ark of the Covenant, God will send some foreign enemy, some foreign army to come and destroy them and take the Ark. And listen to this. Amen. And the enemies was able to touch the Ark and to carry it out. You know why to whom much is given, much is defined. Sometimes we look at how the way other people live in their life and God expects you to live at a higher standard because you know what His word says. God expected the children of Israel to have a higher standard than the Gentiles and the pagans. Amen. And so much as we see that, that even King David, who was anointed of God, could not have returned the ark back to Israel because his hand was full of blood, because he was a man of battle. Amen. Amen, somebody. And we saw that when, hallelujah, glory to Jesus, while they were turning the ark and the, and the priest was bringing it, it was heavy for them. Amen. They didn't have enough manpower to bring it.
David in and a mighty man, a righteous man. Amen. Hallelujah. In David's army saw the ark of the covenant was about to fall. Amen, somebody. And the Bible said when he stepped for his hand, glory to Jesus. The Holy immediately dropped dead. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. Because he wasn't of the priesthood. Amen, somebody. Amen. This is how fearful. Amen, somebody. And how organized and, and amen, God has his kingdom. Amen. That there is a structure and an order to everything. And we as the church do not want to follow that structure and that order. When we look at churches today, our Bible study and prayer meetings is the weakest part of our services. Let me hear prophecy, everybody coming out. I want a word from God. You want a word from God? Get in your word of God. Get in the Bible. The Bible says that that is the sure word of prophecy. The Bible that we prophesy in part. We speak in part. What the prophet will tell you is only in part. Amen, amen, amen. Oh my God. Oh, amen. We are healing, financial breakthrough. The whole church back out. Amen. amen. Some of us are up by false prophets and false teachers telling me about the come number. Amen. Amen. Come on, come on. And you believe that rather than keeping the word of God. Amen, amen. 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 Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen. Nothing wrong with God either this prophet to repeat what is happening to us. Some of us only want to hear who doing the bad. We want to hear from God. But hear what we want to hear. If my husband wants to man, if my wife leaves me, if, if I'm working a financial breakthrough. Hallelujah. Who, who is the king for me? Who is the queen for me? And, uh, who do you know witchcraft? Who will know my seventh day every night? Amen. 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 Rather than getting the word of God and build a foundation that the devil cannot destroy. Amen, somebody. Amen. Yeah, the foolish man built his house upon the sand. Amen. And when the storm came, great was the destruction of that house. But the wise man built his house upon the rock, which is the word of God, which is Jesus himself. And he said that that rock, that house, which stood the test of time. Somebody, Jesus spoke about five wise virgins and five foolish virgins. Amen. We can type the five wise, the those who built their house upon the rock, and the five foolish, the those who built it upon the sand. Amen. 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 Solomon wrote, he said, many are the plans that are in a man's heart, but the counsel of God shall prevail. Many of us, we plan for God, and when we come to hear from God, we don't want a, a word of a direction, you know. we want a word of confirmation for what we already planned. Amen. That's what we want. We already plan a year in advance, two years in advance. It's already planned in our hearts and our minds what we want, who we want, where we want it, what we want to do. And then we come to God, God, I want a word. But what you really want is not a, you don't want to hear from God, you want confirmation from God. Amen. Amen, somebody. You, before you start something, you must first acknowledge God. And that's why Solomon said now, he said, in all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct your path. And while he's directing your path, he said, do not lean to the left, do not lean to the right, do not lean to your own understanding, but in all your ways talk to him, ask of him, and he will direct you. The Bible and the steps of a good man, they are ordered by the Lord. Yes. Yes. So when we enter after repentance and forgiveness of sins, we have we need a lot to talk to God, how to communicate with God. Prayer is the language of heaven because it uses the spirit and the word and our altar is our heart. Amen. The altar now is our heart. Yes. The tabernacle is our bodies. Amen. It's got to be presented before God, pure and holy. Amen. Am I speaking to somebody tonight? Amen. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. 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 So James said, is any afflicted? Let them pray. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. Is any sick? Then call for your spiritual leaders. Anoint them with oil. And the prayer of faith shall save the sick. But the fervent prayer of the righteous. What does that mean? He that continues to pray, he that pray without ceasing. James and somebody, the Bible that pray without ceasing. Amen. Jesus said, when you pray, believe that you have already received what you have asked for and you will 
keep us in prayer. Amen, somebody. We got to maintain our relationship with God through prayer. Amen, Amen. Amen somebody. Amen. And not just reciting, Amen. not just prayers of repetition. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadows of the Almighty. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. For the Lord is my light. And he repeated not every night. And if I fall asleep, I just say, Go on to my prayer from the heart. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. The same way you want a man and a woman to love you from the heart. God wants when you pray, when you seek him from the heart. From the heart. He wants you to mean. Mean what you say. You know what you're falling asleep while you're praying. Amen, somebody. While you're kneeling down, you're falling asleep. While you're lying down, you're falling asleep. He wants to pray from the heart. But you know something that is that little spirit attacking your light. And you have to see something pass. A shadow, all your sleep going out your eye. And you jump up. Amen. 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 You jump up and you start a rolling dog, you never know your heart. Amen, amen, amen. 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 And we, as we read in the book of Exodus, the Bible said that we meet with God through our prayer. Amen. Yeah. We meet with God when we pray. God has established it that through our prayer we meet with God. Amen. That's why when we as the church, when we begin to pray, miracles happen. Amen. For the past two Wednesdays and Saturdays, I, I show you as you begin to pray that we don't even have to lay hands on people for them to be healed. Amen. Because Jesus is amongst us. Amen. We are messengers and vessels, but we are not the one who heals and saves. It is Jesus and he, he wants to be with you in your home. He wants to be with you in your job. Amen, somebody. But if you're not speaking with him, if you have no communication with him, if you have no relationship with him, he's not going to stop by. He's not going to answer you when you pray. How can he answer a stranger? Amen. Amen. How can you call upon someone that you, you do not know? And we are only calling on him in time of trouble. But in our daily life, we're too busy. Amen. And that's why we're leaving spiritual doors open for witchcraft to come in. Amen. For amen, demon spirits, ancestral spirits, anxiety, fear, doubt, depression, oppression. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. When you begin to pray, listen to me. The Bible said, He said, I give you a peace. That's like the world give it. The peace of the world is temporary. But God's peace is eternal. Amen, somebody. He said, I will give you a joy. And the Bible said, The joy of the Lord shall be your strength. Amen, somebody. He said, But the love I will give unto you. It will surpass all knowledge. Yeah. Amen. 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 Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen. Continue reading. Let's, let's begin. To, we want to close it off. Amen. For every high priest is ordained to offer gifts and sacrifices. Wherefore it is necess a necessity that this man have someone also to offer. For if he were on earth, he should not be a priest. Seeing that there are priests that offer gifts according to the law who serve unto the example and the shadow of heavenly things, as Moses was admonished of God when he was to make the tabernacle. Oh, so hold it right there. So the Bible said that what the priest and the old tabernacle was doing was showing of a shadow of things to come. Amen. Amen. That's what he just read there. It was showing of a shadow of things to come. Amen, somebody. Amen. So look at the setup of the old temple. Amen. The outer court. The inner court. And the holies of holies. Even though we have access into the throne of grace, not much of God's people can enter there. Amen. Salvation is free. Forgiveness of sins is free. Amen, somebody. The Bible said Jesus brought what? Grace and truth. What the, the truth is obedience to the gospel and it takes obedience to get you into the throne of grace. 
the Bible said we are justified by what? Faith. What is faith? Faith coming by what? Yes. Hearing and hearing the word of God. So if we are obedient to the word of God, then we cannot be justified. Say yeah. 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 so people say I live under grace. I live under favor. But you're not obedient to the word of God. Grace came freely, yes. But you also brought truth. And truth is obedience. Truth is obedience. Amen, somebody. Amen. 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 I said, truth is obedience. Amen. Amen. No more found favor in the sight of God. What does the next word for favor? Grace. Amen. But favor didn't cause him to build an ark. Obedience did. Amen. Obedience did. Amen. And the Bible said, as the days of Noah was, so shall it be in the last days of the coming of the Son of Man. And as Noah built an ark, and we got the build of our ark of safety. And how do we build it? By applying the word of God. By being obedient to the word of God. Ain't that somebody? So the Bible says Jesus brought what? Grace and truth. So the altar court is grace so we don't have to pay. We don't have to pay for no healing. We don't have to pay for no deliverance. You know you go to churches on her line, hundred dollars line for prayer. You go to prophets and pay them three hundred for prophecy. Yeah. For your deliverance. When they tell you to come back, they tell you to come back with four thousand dollars and five thousand dollars. Amen. Pray deliverance. Amen. 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 They are these bandits and robbers according to the word of God. Amen. Because that is not biblical or scriptural. Amen. Amen, someone. Amen. 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 Jesus has paid the price for our healing and our deliverance. Amen, somebody. Amen. It has been given to us freely. Amen, somebody. But if we want to stay empowered, if we want to stay and walk in victory, if we want to be overcomers, amen, somebody. Even though Jesus paid the price that we can receive freely, we can go back. Amen, somebody. So he do not want us in the, in the outer court after we have received what we ought to receive in the outer court. You got to get yourself in the inner court. Amen. Amen, somebody. In the place of prayer, in the place of worship, in the place where the ark of the covenant is, in the place of the holies of holies. You know, you sing the song behind the veil. Amen. You got to get yourself behind the veil. Amen. That's where you are more than conquerors. What does Romans 8 say? Amen, somebody. He said, For there is therefore now no condemnation. This is New Testament. There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ. How are you in Christ? John 16 made it clear. Jesus said, he said, I am the true vine and my father is the husband man. Then anyone that beareth not no fruit, the father will do what? Cut him off and men shall do what? Throw him into the fire to be burned. He said, if my words shall abide in you. Amen. Somebody, amen. Somebody, amen. And you abide in me, then you can ask whatsoever you will, and it shall be given unto you. Amen. 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 Oh, what the David said, Thy word have I hid in my heart, and I would not sin against thee. Amen. When he did sin, what did he do? He prayed and cried out. He said, No, Lord, create within me a clean heart and a pure mind, and then you within me the right spirit. The presence of God is where the Ark of the Covenant is. Amen. Where the promises is. The Ark of the Covenant represents the power, the authority, and the promises of God to the church. Amen. Prayer leads us to the Ark of the Covenant. Amen. It leads us to the authority that Jesus has given us in this New Testament. It leads us to the throne of grace. Amen. But the veil has been removed. Yes. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen, Amen somebody. Yeah. Am I speaking to somebody tonight? Amen, Amen somebody. Amen. Tell the neighbor, say, get behind your veil. Yeah. 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 Come on from the outer court. Yeah. Get in the inner court. Yeah. Get in the inner court. Now read that. Hebrews chapter 10. I'm going to close there. Hebrews chapter 10. 
for the law having a shadow of good things to come and not the very image of the things can never with those sacrifices which they offered year by year continually make the commas thereon to perfect. For then would they not have ceased to be offered because the worshippers once purged should have had no more conscience of sins. But in those sacrifices there is a remembrance again made of sins every year. For it is not possible that the blood of bulls and of goats should take away sins. Well, yes, it was not possible for the blood of goats and of bulls to take away sin. So people today who still sacrificing animals in the name of God, they are doing witchcraft. Amen. They are going by the river and sacrificing fall cocks. Witchcraft. Yes. They are coming by the house and sacrificing false witchcraft. Amen, Amen somebody. Amen. Amen. Because that cannot take away sins. Amen. Amen. And what they are sacrificing to is not the one true God. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen, Amen somebody. Amen. 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 Continue. Wherefore, when he cometh into the world, he said, Sacrifice and offering thou wouldest not, but a body has thou prepared me. Holy right, it's a sacrifice and offering God didn't have any desire in. Not like even burning incense in the house and say driving out demons. I've been driving out no demons. Amen. If you're born in incense, I've been driving. We know what they're going to drive out demons, the life that you live, the God that lives in you. Greater is He that is in you and He that is in the world. When Jesus and His apostles came on the scene, they didn't say, Wait, I'm a bone, some incense to get rid of the devils. Amen. Amen. They used the word of God that was in their heart. They didn't went by the Ophia shop and get a red lavender and seven spirits of this and seven powers of this and all that. Are love potion and all kind of God and charm and enchantment amen somebody they came in the name of amen who the father has sent they came in the name of Jesus and their blue demon spirit and heal the sick and cast out devils amen, amen. 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 Yeah. some believers come the children are still coming the Bible before they go and sleep they put a copy of the Bible and put a scissors inside it Yes. Amen, somebody. Amen. 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 And what were those going for ashes? Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. 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 So God didn't have any pleasure. Amen. In, in these sacrifices. Amen, somebody. Amen. And in burning incense. Amen, somebody. Amen, Amen somebody. Amen. Neither does God have pleasure in our sacrifices. I'm talking about the, the price we are paying for sin. Amen. The, because of our lack of obedience. I'm not talking about our spiritual sacrifice. To see souls saved and lives changed. To receive the crown of life and crown of righteousness. Which God the Father has promised. Many of us are sacrificing and we are paying a price because of disobedience. Wrong decisions. Wrong choices. Because we don't acknowledge God. God, God amen. We don't have a relationship with God. Amen. amen. We are paying Amen for our sins. Amen. Am I speaking to some of you tonight? Amen. 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 We are pain. We are still in the altar called pain sacrifice. Amen. Because we are still pain for our sins. While Jesus has already paid for it for us. Amen. But we still pain today. Because we keep making the same mistakes over and over. The same wrong choices over and over. We are still going to the places that God doesn't want us to go. We are still behaving the way that God doesn't want us to behave. The same people you see come and quiet in the house of God. When they in the home, the cousin, the uncle, the mommy, everybody. Amen. And when it's time to pray, you can't even open your mouth to pray. Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen somebody. Amen. Amen somebody. Amen, Amen somebody. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. 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 Hey, that's what people are saying. They're well quiet, but they're well quiet. They're quiet in the house of God. They're quiet because they know you. Get them vexed, huh? Uh -huh. <laughs> 
Amen. 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 Continue reading. In burnt offerings and sacrifices for sin, thou hast had no pleasure. Then said I, Lo, I come in the volume of the book. It is written of me to do thy will, O God. So he came in the entirety of the word of God. Yeah. Oh. Amen. He said, Then said I, Lo, I come in the volume of the book to do the will of God. Read it over again. Then said I, Lo, I come in the volume of the book. It is written of me to do thy will, O God. Continue reading. Above when he said sacrifice and offering and burnt offering and offering for sin, thou wouldest not, neither has pleasure therein, which are offered by the law. Then said he, Lo, I come to do thy will, O God. He taketh away the first, that he may establish the second. By the which will we are sanctified through the offering of the blood, the, through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once. For all. Amen. We are sanctified to the offering of the body of the Son of God. As you will read further down, he said, A body have I prepared for me. Amen, Amen somebody. Amen. Amen. We'll be called the Son of God. And the Savior God who wants us to prepare our bodies for Him. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. Am I speaking to somebody tonight? Amen, Amen somebody. The Bible said these sacrifices are under the law. Many of us are still under the law. Because we are still sacrificing because of our sins. We are still paying because of our sins. Amen. We are still possessed and bound and depressed because of our sins. Amen. We refuse to come in obedience or alignment to God's word. Amen. That God may set us free. Yeah. Amen, somebody. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And as God has prepared a body for himself, the body that he prepared is what we call the Son of God. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. Jesus, the Bible said in St. John, was not born of the will of a man, but of the will of God. It was not the blood of Joseph that got him in Mary's womb. Amen. The Bible and the Holy Ghost move upon her womb and conceive that child. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. Am I speaking to somebody tonight? God prepared a body for himself. And in that same way, God is looking for people that will prepare their life for him to live in. Prepare their body, their temple for him to use, for them to be a light and an example for the world to see. Amen. Amen, Amen. Amen. That individual, God will bless you in the valley. He will bless you in the hill. He will Amen. bless you in the mountain. He will bless you in the trouble. He will heal every disease, sickness. He will give you power over all the powers of the devil. Amen, somebody. You will be an overcomer, a victor. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. But you've got to follow the ordinances that is written. We've got to establish a proper foundation in prayer. Amen. 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 I want all of you to sit tonight. Come forward. If you are sick in your bodies, come forward tonight. Those that have